94-year-old Joan Almstrom is grateful that his mom's alive tonight after a recent snowstorm left her trapped in her pioneer home in freezing temperatures without any power. They went beyond their norm, I thought, to take care of my mom. Amador County Sheriff's Deputy Casey Wilson responding to a call of a welfare check at the residence after a neighbor had become concerned. Upon arriving, I showed up and noticed that there's just a blanket of snow on the ground with no footprints or anything, and the house is dark, which automatically set off some alarms in my head saying something could be wrong. Shoveling several feet of snow just to get inside the home. That's when Deputy Wilson found the 94-year-old sitting in a wheelchair covered in blankets struggling to stay warm. He carried her to his patrol car and then to a nearby hotel. She was more than happy to go to the Jackson Rancheria. I couldn't couldn't get her up out of the house fast enough. She, uh, she was really excited to go. Joan's son Rick tells me by phone that he's just relieved that Deputy Wilson was able to get there in time. Without them going to help her, she would be sitting there freezing with no electricity, no heat. And I don't think that would help her very much at the age of 94. Not only did Deputy Wilson take Joan to a nearby hotel, he also made sure her room was covered and she got a hot meal. We rely on the deputies to do the right thing uh, when they get there, and, and Casey did more than the right thing. Joan's son says the deputy went above and beyond to care for his mom, but if you ask Wilson, he says he was only doing what any other deputy would do. I don't think I'm a hero. I'm just doing what I've been taught by this agency and by other people down the line. And tonight the Almstroms are thanking their lucky stars that Joan is in good health and they live in a community that looks out for their neighbors. I would say thank you very, very much for saving my mom's life because that's where it would be in, as far as I'm concerned. Joan's family tells us she is doing well tonight but won't be returning home until her driveway is properly plowed. And